Fresno. My name is Darren Fox and welcome to another episode of Flipping Fresno. Uh, we're gonna turn this Save us a lot of money. And maybe we'll just change the fitting here. Let's try and fix it, bro. I think we can fix it. We've fixed worse before. <laughs> Into this. We just need to take a good look inside. So maybe like 10 minutes, if that's okay. Yeah, let's go, 10, 15 minutes. This looks like the original floors. Yeah. We won't have to spend much money on that, just the popcorn ceiling, repaint. Oh wow, there's a gym. Nick, this is our forte, mate. To bump you up. I need a little bump up. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> ah! It's 15 pounds. 15 pounds, brother. <laughs> 15 pounds. Like a lot of it's just superficial stuff. Yeah. Some new lawn seed, repaint the deck. Maybe do a nice sun sail, like a post over there and we do like a sun a sail cloth. Yeah. You know, just to extend the shade area. It's a shame they didn't take the popcorn ceiling off though, huh? That's a big job. It's a lot of work to scrape that stuff because you have to you have to spray it with water and then you have to scrape it. I think that's it. That's it for this house, right, bro? And a lot of times people get overwhelmed. It's really very simple. You see the house, you see what you can sell for, and you work it backwards. We are at a potential property that we're looking to flip. This home is directly off a main street here in North Fresno. And uh, as you can see, a lot of these homes carry the same kind of style and design. How many have houses have I flipped in my life? Ooh. A lot. Um, let's see, 100 and 120 homes a year times 15 years. That's a lot. Let's go in and check it out and see what we're gonna buy. We're in the bowels of North Fresno right now. This is where I would say most of the industrial area is the mid-income area and um, these homes all have bars on the windows and uh, desperately, desperately need a change. Desperately. Nice front yard, for sure. Hello, hello. How's it going? I bet I could flip a house with my eyes closed and my hands tied behind my back. Move, the, move an island over here, move the stove in there with a 360 range right here. Open this up and relocate this cabinet so there's a full set of cabinets right here. And then we also have an ability to put a pantry and a, and a pantry right there for the space. Uh, you don't really have, need to have a lot of money to get into it, but you need to be able to convince somebody that you have a vision that's gonna make them money. This is not load bearing at all. Well, the backyard is pretty big. It's huge. Roof actually looks pretty good. Dennis, the looks... see the roof? Looks good, mate. I think we can. I think we can get this done in a week and a half. Nice. In a week and a half, because we're not doing With major renovation. Oh yeah. Bathroom, we can. He can do it in three days. But I've always had a passion for real estate. I've always had a passion for um, shelter over people, because to me, I believe that people need food, water and shelter. Once we remodel it, we're obviously going to be selling it to somebody who's going to finance um, for the home, right? Yeah. And once they finance, they got to get, it's going to get appraised. So when the appraiser comes by and looks at the home, they're going to place your home in a certain category depending on how you remodel it. For this way, the way this is remodeled, it's going to be in a lower category, right? Because it's like a half remodel, it's not like a full remodel. Once you, the way you would remodel, it'll be a full remodel, so that'll give you extra value because you took the time to do electrical, you did, you know, brand new everything. 
The art of getting into flipping homes. Uh, it is local knowledge, a good realtor, and a finance person that believes in your vision. We may not have enough money in the budget to do the perimeter fence, but we could definitely make the inside look good and then create a second bathroom yeah. for that budget. You have a home, there is a value to that home. There's a value to what you could sell it for. You have to see it, visualize it, and then just work backwards in terms of your costs. Five o'clock. So, is there any more? That's it. No, that's it. I thought they were all good with seeing the house today. Don't they want to sell it? They, uh, apparently they are not available at that time, so. They're not available for us to spend $300,000 with them? Really? They're not available for us to spend three hundred thousand dollars with them. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Where Must be spend. nice. But all these homes, look at all these homes, all bars in the windows. Here. Yeah. But wouldn't it be amazing if we could change this? Like, if we could build communities and change all this, one home at a time. The reason why this house is worth it to us. There's a couple of reasons. The first one, it's in a great neighborhood. It's got a large square footage. It needs updating, of course. But what's really interesting is if you focus on the neighbor's homes right over there, you'll see that that's a very well kept up house. And that's a very well kept up house. And so is the neighbor on that side. And a lot of times your home will sell because your neighbors have great homes. And there's something to remember. When you're choosing a house, Choose the right neighbors. So it's 60 by 102, the dimensions. So it's 60 feet this way and 102 uh, straight, so. It's not a load -bearing wall you have to see it, visualize it, and then just work backwards in terms of your costs. It's really the simplest thing on the planet. It really is that simple. What makes it complicated is the right type of people to work on the home, the knowledge and know-how how to achieve the goal with a fraction of the cost to maximize your profit and have a really, really good realtor who could sell it for you. I'm thinking it's probably gonna be about 5,000 for the floor. Hot tub right here. The dog has seen better days. Oh, and that's a real dog. <laughs> Question is, how's the roof and how's the HVAC? Is that, that is the $15,000 question, my yeah. friend. Oh, it was, walkthrough went great. The walkthrough was good. We identified areas that we needed to, uh, to change. Uh, there's a couple of space factors. We're gonna have to take down some walls. We're gonna have to build some bathrooms to really bring the value of this house to where it should be. At face value, this is an overpriced house, but we're gonna come in with the cash offer, see what happens. So what do you think? What should we offer? Let's get done nuts and bolts. Um, I well, like his offer. What was his offer? 270. Yeah. Uh, we can try there, but they've uh, dealt with a couple of investors who have offered. Um, what is the highest offer with the investors? They haven't. They didn't reveal that. And I feel that I was on this planet for a reason, and I was given these talents for a reason, and I was given commercial acumen and business sense for a reason to be able to achieve this. And I have absolutely no regrets whatsoever and I'm excited to see where the future is going to take me. Flippin' Fresno. Flippin' Fresno. Hi, my name is Chris from KHL Construction, and today we're going to be giving you a tour of our McKinley and Blackstone warehouse. A lot of these companies are just separate. They either do this specific thing or they do that specific thing. We just got into the whole remodeling business. We do it from ground up. And we do everything in-house. All the labor that we do is our own employees. They're not subbed out. The only thing we sub out is the plumbing and electrical. Uh, these slabs over here, you see, these are uh, customer jobs. This is where the next stage from here is going into the shop to get cut. They, they make these holes all the way down, 10 feet. 
and they just pop it open. And now you have this huge boulder. They take that boulder and start slicing them about an inch apart. That's how you essentially get these slabs. Got it, so this is the first step the countertops go through. We'll come here, we'll lay down the slab. It's, they just got done cutting, that's why it's a little messy here. But they'll cut the 45s, they'll cut the edges out, all on this one machine. You don't have to buy cabinets from him, schedule it with this guy. They call the countertop guy, try to schedule him. At that point, you're gonna work as a contractor, trying to align all these things to happen for you. But in KHL, you only have one number to call. So this is one of them that just came out. They got cut and laminated. Now it's getting ready for uh, being polished. And usually we beat everyone's prices. I mean, I have people from Home Depot, people from Lowe's bringing in their layouts and uh, showing me what type of cabinets they were supposed to get. I almost half the price. We're gonna go to our new, new spot here. It's, we used to rent out the side building, but now we've made it into a custom cabinet shop where we make pretty much custom cabinets from scratch. Yeah, custom cabinetry, we recently started, probably maybe within the last month or so, we got the shop up and running. Uh, mainly did that because of uh, a lot of our clients, they wanted their closets done, custom closets. We just simply couldn't do it. And we just see all these all this money going to waste because all these clients want it. They're doing all the whole job with us, the whole house, and we just can't do that specific thing because we don't have the machinery. So recently we got it, and now we're in the custom business too. Now these are the cabinets I was telling you about that we keep in stock. It would be this here, the Imperial White and the Imperial Gray. And uh, Darren normally gets the, the ones I showed you, the white shaker, blue shaker, because that's the trend and that's what his customers most likely would like. You know, This would have been like a, uh, like a end. So yeah. when you end it, you have to cut it down and put a shooter mm -hmm. to cover up the yeah. rough end. Yeah. How that was done over there. Mm -hmm. I do like it. He's selling us, so he doesn't know who his next next client is, so he's probably gonna do the, whatever is most popular at that time. So should we get this? You wanna do this? Hmm? He's real fast too. He knows what he wants in his head. You can tell when you talk to him, he already has the whole kitchen jot out in his head. Yeah. Coloring and everything. So we just walk around the showroom, he says this, this, this. Right up on the invoice, that's it. Yeah, I mean, what do you think, Karen? What do you think? What, what do you I think? don't know. I was just um, curious on what they were because yeah. even this one's super cute. Yeah, he's used to it. He knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. Yeah. I'll see you later. Thank you so much. Yeah. I will send you the Good to meet you. portfolio. Okay. I don't think, from my knowledge, I don't think anyone does what we do. This is what we bought, man. Needs a lot of work, huh? Roof's all messed up too. Como estas? How are you, How are you doing, man? Good. Yeah. Good, this is Nick. Hey, Pleasure. Yeah. Look what we bought. Nick is uh, one of my closest friends. He's like my brother. And uh, we met in Hawaii 10 years ago and uh, we just instantly connected on the beach. Um, he was looking for a bathroom and I was holding a Mai Tai and uh, he came back and we hung out and he's an athlete and I'm an athlete and uh, we both like surf, sand and girls so it worked out perfectly. I'm thinking Concho, new paint outside, Baltic white, yeah? Because the panels are actually look, they actually look really good. Well, Nick is Nick is a very diverse individual. He knows a little bit about everything. A lot of times in a flip, um, the major selling points are a really nice bathroom and a really nice kitchen. Yeah, that's just my opinion. But they did it like a cabin, right? It's like a cabin, like a wood cabin, kind of thing. 
he knows the area, he knows roughly what homes sell for, and he's a great local tour guide to tell me what people want in their homes. Doing that I think will enhance the, the, the vision of it being bigger. It's already a good size. I mean, realistically, this is a great flip for many reasons because everything's here. Yeah. Everything's here, there ain't much to do. It's just basically dotting I's and crossing T's. Thank you for coming. So what I'm thinking is this wall here, depending if it's a load bearing wall, I'd like to see if we can open it up to here. Yeah, so that way we'd make the living room a bit bigger. Because I know we're gonna put the refrigerator in that side. Yeah. So if we can open it up, then it just makes this more flow. Flow is um, something that I have understood that is, is very me. Um, and it's not just walking into a house and creating feng shui, it's just more uh, a way that I do business. You can't really have a successful business if you hit hurdles all the time, you know, and you just have to flow around a lot of that stuff. And I translate that to a lot of my homes because my homes, when you walk into, into the house, it's always open space. what I mean. You open up the wall, you now combine your living room with your kitchen. It's a lot more flow from the front door straight to your living room, to your kitchen, straight through to the laundry. This is exactly what I'm talking about. This is your master bedroom. You come straight through the living room to your master bedroom, your closet, master closets right here, straight through to your bathroom, right there. Flow, amazing. Yeah, I was really frustrated at one of our properties today because I was a little disappointed in the finish of the hot water cabinet and I didn't appreciate it being framed and put together with siding. Really? Come on. Come on, man. What the hell? Really, bro? Sh this looks like sh This looks like sh Siding is what they use for the side of the house. And I understand why they used it, because he didn't want to spend more money on material. I have to give him props for that, but what I didn't appreciate was the way that it was put together. Me. No, we can't do this. Hey, why did we use this board? You don't know. I just don't like to do things like that. I like to do them properly and nicely. So um, that was quite frustrating for me. Looks really sh bro. Because it's like... It's inside the house and it doesn't match. Yeah, now the door is lined up and that's one of my pet peeves is it has to line up, mate. No, yeah, no, no way to frame it, okay? This is no, no, I understand, I, I get all that. I totally understand everything. Yeah. What I'm saying is this material is really horrible. Can we use a different material? It's like, material? no, no, it's because like, that it's- way, you, That way you don't want to spend uh, much money, we can use a uh, wallpaper. Wallpaper? Wallpaper that we finish. What's wallpaper? It's like coming with uh, glue. Oh, are you using that structure? Yeah. That's no, it. but even the doors are messed up. Like, it's not even straight, bro. See what I mean? It's not even level with that frame. It's all like, see? It's not even finished properly. You know what I mean? We gotta do it nice, bro. Cause it's gonna be nice. See, the, see, this is the plywood. This is what I'm talking about because you're having two doors like this doesn't actually work. It's optically very, very bad. So 
we had to get that addressed. And I know it's frustrating sometimes, but I'm extremely OCD and everything has to be perfect because my name is attached to it. But what I'm saying is because this is inside the house, like the finish is not gonna be, it's not gonna match. Like we're gonna have all these nice walls and we're gonna have this. This would be even better. This may be even better. I don't know if this is gonna paint up well, but if we have like a board or like a plywood or something, do the same thing, but with plywood, it'll look nicer. I just don't like the finish on that, that's all. Okay. It doesn't, it's inside the house, it has to look a little bit better. I know it's a cabinet, I understand, but it needs to look better. And the second thing, or one of two or three things was the fact that um, the, uh, we have to run a new electrical line into the sink to work the garbage disposal. How much more is it gonna be to fit a garbage disposal now? Uh, to wire one in. And we also discovered that the property doesn't come with a dishwasher. So that's another challenge that we have to incorporate now, which involves us having to break into the wall and run plumbing, run electrical, um, all that kind of stuff, which is now going to cost me more money and more time. This is one of the most frustrating things because when we got this house, it was all pre-done, but we're finding out that certain things that we do in our home that's standard, like garbage disposals, uh, electrical, GFI stuff for safety is all wrong in this house and now we have to go fix it, but that means that we have to break walls, we have to go inside, run new cable, and it costs more time and money, and that's not good. This is very frustrating. I'm missing the bathroom lights. This is the kind of shit that drives me crazy. Yeah, the vanities, so I have two vanities, right? Is this a double? No, f me. Okay. And that house is supposed to be done today. And now it's not gonna happen till next week. How, how, how we do? You question me and I answer you? We're just having a, co <laughs> we're just having a, co we're just having a conversation like friends yes. as we are. Yes. How are you doing tonight? Always great. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank Dude, you for coming. I love that. This was amazing. This, that was, yeah. this is the best steak that I've ever had. Same here. Thank you. Our style, of, our style of cooking and our style of uh, our, our style of food for aperitif is more like um, in house dining. Yes, in 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 house dining. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's a food you, it's a food you you want to sit down and have. Enjoy. Uh, yes, enjoy your wine. Uh, have a nice music. You know, have a nice company with relaxing time. Yeah. Yes. One hours here. You know. Okay. With your family. So it's an experience. Your you yes. Come here for yes. an experience. Yes. Absolutely. You, you come yeah. here for experience and relaxing. Yes. Right. Yeah. Yes, when, when, when you come to L'Aperitif, you need to be curious. Yeah, you, you need to be like... Come I, in with an open yes, mind. Yes, I, I, I want to try uh, what Thomas provides to us, you know? You need to be curious. Yeah. You, you, you're not coming with uh, high expectation. You're just coming with because you are curious. Oh, what he got today? What he can do today? Right. That's, what, that's what we are. That's what we, that's we, we want to work with our guests. Yeah, we want we, we very enjoy when the guests come. They say, "Hey, do you have a, a, a duck today? Can you do rabbit tomorrow?" That's what I like. Yeah. That's what I, I it's like. Ever changing evolution. Yes, we, we love curious yeah. people. It's no it's not ruined food. Yeah, it's not ruined. It's a blank canvas. Yes, it's it's very open. Food is uh, food is very freedom. 
you can you can put whatever you like in there. Yeah. Uh, what's yeah. just make you happy? Your palate decide for everything. We we from Fresno. Uh, I I'm here. I my family here. My my son go uh, high school in Fresno. We we uh, Fresno people and we care about our Fresno people. Yes. Very 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 care. Yeah. And you yeah. you it shows in your food. You yeah. give to the community. Yes. And it's it's such an awesome feeling and an experience. Trust me, it is. Oh, thank you. It's awesome. awesome. Thank you guys. As I understand, you don't really do a lot of advertising. It's all word of no. mouth. Yeah, we don't. We we, we, we believe we believe in uh, in uh, word of mouth. We believe in oh yes. We believe friend talk to another friend. Oh, let's try the aperitif. It's not so bad. Let's try. They have different flavor. They have yeah. different specialty. They have tuna carpaccio. You know, in Italy yeah. we eat beef carpaccio. They do tuna carpaccio. Don't something different. Yeah, that's yes, really good this, too. This, this, this I, I will say this. Um, I walked into this restaurant for the first time about a month or so ago, give or take. Darren explained to me, you know, what this place was about. I've never heard of this place before. I came in, and from day one up until this very moment, and I'm sure for very for for the foreseeable future, this place is truly a hidden gem in Fresno. It really is. This is a perfect spot to take an amazing woman to. This is a perfect spot for a meeting. This is a perfect spot to engage in conversation with friends, family, and everything else in between. It's truly a hidden gem in the Central Valley. It really, really is. Well, People you. don't know what they're missing by not coming here. Right. That's how amazing this place is. So let me Very get this. So let me get this straight. Anybody can walk into your restaurant from anywhere in the world. Yes, sir. And request something of peace of home Sorry. if they're homesick or yeah, yes. if they want something and you'll be able to do that. Yes, yes. That if is the, amazing. If the, mar if, if the market provide me the produce, I, I do it. Yeah, wow. I do it. Yeah. This is this is this is what this is should be. Yeah. This is on, on I I feel on on the chef should should be this way. Oh, wow, thank you. Yes. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. You love my cuisine. Yes, <laughs> thank you. I do. That's just, I do. Thank you to share. And I have definitely thank you to share my, the word. Thank you to share all this flavor together, the good wine together. I, I really appreciate it. And and uh, I, I will never thank enough for you guys. And uh, I, yeah, I love I love my guests. They're not customers, they're guests. Don't yes. I, uh, every day, every every people is my guest. Don't they, I treat them like... Family. Family. Yes. yes. Yeah, I... I I told, I told, I told my people, hey, we cannot, we cannot make a mistake. Yeah, everything we do, we need to do right. Cheers, cheers, cheers. cheers. Thank you very much. Le in Fresno, people, love it. Come here for an experience you'll never forget. Cheers. I met Jen through a mutual friend and there was this girl who had so much energy and so much vibrance and so much knowledge about remodeling and real estate and all that kind of good stuff in Fresno and I was sitting there talking to her and in an hour I was like this is the girl she knows it all. I got all that paperwork squared away too with um, our uh, realtor for the title stuff. And he's, they're gonna, it's like, a, it just takes a day, so. Oh, good. So we'll be able to move quickly on that. Yeah. When Darren was telling me what he was doing, I said, hey, I've worked on a lot of homes. I have a lot of contacts. So as you're doing your renovations and things like that, if you need anybody, let me know. The fact that her system doesn't cost the homeowner anything. They get subsidies from the government to provide clean, green energy, it marries perfectly into no. what we're trying to accomplish here in Fresno. I actually talked to one of my neighbors um, and he was telling me that Fresno is the number one selling market in this company. That's the number one residential solar company in the nation. We take an old house that upgrade the electrical system as we do when we remodel a house mm -hmm. and then you guys come in put in solar modernize what we've already modernized and it costs the consumer half of that cost i mean it's just fantastic it's, right it's excellent 
Um, most of the time, it just obviously depends on the home and the situation, but it does end up saving people almost half. And I said, there's no way I'm going door to door selling solar. Like, is there any other way to do that? And he said, just hear him out, see how it goes and go do that. And I went and sat in a meeting and got a feel for the culture and the community that's within my company and fell in love with it. And I thought, okay, I can do this. The consumer benefits because as I understand in our previous conversations, it's almost half the cost of what they would pay PG&E and it blows my mind why the rest of the nation doesn't have your system. It's a no brainer. I love the company and I love what I'm able to provide. I like that I am out connecting with people on a daily basis and I'm not selling them anything. Flipping for 15 years, never used solar because you hear all the horror stories about you know people signing up and then being left with this huge bill and then they can't afford it so the solar company comes in and tries to take over and all these kind of horrible horrible stories and there's always a supposedly a catch but this system I like it's very straightforward we're actually approving homes not approving people yes. for solar and that's the biggest thing that yeah. we're trying to make sure that people understand that we're approving this home and then once we put this whole system together on this home when you move, it's as easy as calling PG&E and saying, hi, we're out of here, yeah. turn it off, and then calling me, and the next homeowner calls and says, okay, we're in, turn it back on. I was very surprised that Jen uh, Bowen had a um, uh, real estate background knowledge, and I didn't realize that she did her own flips also. I enjoy coming in and remodeling. Okay, but look, can you just see this? Someone's gonna build something in here where they're yeah. gonna have a, a little bench and the hooks to hang up all their stuff as they come into the house. Yeah. This is awesome for that. It is very hard to find. And also, when you find those kinds of people, you hold them close to you because they're just very genuine and they're very nice. And they will share information without wanting anything in return. If you move walls around, you can create dynamic space, which is what we essentially yeah. did. Yeah, you've, you've created a big open living space that is very inviting and functional, and it definitely feels a lot bigger than the square footage. The government subsidizes the solar system. Instead of you paying PG&E, you pay this company, and they save you almost half of what PG&E would charge. So what we do is we look at a year's worth of usage because that varies from month to month and then we divide that up by the 12 months and then we are able to charge them a rate that is oftentimes half of what PG&E is charging them so it's saving them a lot of money for the power that they're purchasing. They get all the benefits of that solar system with the twin Tesla batteries that would cater to a large family, small family, it doesn't matter but the cool thing there is you could lose all your power and your house will run forever. Having the two batteries is gonna benefit your homeowners in that they're able to store that much more power. So it allows for growth within the home and it allows for them to have more power stored and used without ending up on PG&E's grid. So it's, it's gonna keep them off of the grid and continue to save money. She compliments what we do in terms of her own thoughts and ideology and things like that and her own system of her own experiences doing these homes. And it's, it's nice to run a parallel with somebody to feed off that person's knowledge and also uh, exchange of ideas. And together I think we make a good team. I'm excited for homes like this and more homes in the future. You're a fantastic person. Thank you so much for thinking of us and thanks for being here so we can finish the evaluation on this house and more to come in the future. Thanks, mate. Doing that house, flipping that house, remodeling that house was literally flying a rocket ship to Mars and back 10 times.
right, let me tell you the story really fast. Mm -hmm. The f***ing air conditioner that's here on the ground, there's no electric, there's no way to connect it. The air conditioning system, which is worth ten to twelve thousand uh, dollars, is going to cost more money to install, and we don't even know if it's actually working. Irritated, really, more than anything, just a nagging irritation. <sighs> house looks good, though. Looks very modern. Looks like a beach house. It was crazy, mate. Everything that could go wrong went wrong. So either way, I'm having a crane to come here and lift that oh, thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So that's the 1500 bucks right there, just for the crane. Electrical problems, dry rot in the, the, the studs, termites, floor uneven, everything that you can imagine that could go wrong with the home that on the outside looked very little to finish. But once we started getting into it, it was literally lipstick on a pig. Look at all this space. Woo! Um, some of them are good and uh, some of them are not so good, you know? Um, but overall, I think it's the bad moments that make you stronger for the future. Let's go for a walkie walkie. Turn some lights on, boom. It's always nice when the light switches are in the right place. You couldn't beat the location. I just didn't anticipate having to budget for, I mean, a renovation that would typically be the same cost as a rundown house. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. So our moral compass kicked in and I had to get it done so where I can present a home that's, f that's perfectly done for our home buyers. Because I like to sleep at night, you know? The little guy over there didn't make it. It's okay. He's gone to bug heaven. This is a KHL job. 30 inch wide sink, farm style, uh, to match the decor. And uh, the sink along with the really nice slender um, handles for the cabinets just really come together with the stainless steel appliances. It all kind of ties in. It's like, really nice it doesn't modern. matter if you failed, mate. It doesn't matter. What matters is you collect your <laughs> You evaluate where you went wrong. You look at, you have a grasp of the information in front of you and you make the best decision based on the information you have. And you go in to the next part of it 100%. But I may just have him come and cork a little bit around these lights. Just some sealant to seal the little gaps in there. It is frustrating, but it's all worth it in the end because the finished house is just amazing. Like from what it was to where it is now and all the pain we had to endure in it. But I think finally we're there. People who are successful don't live in a world in, with maybes. Okay, and it's unsuccessful people that think about, oh my God, like this all failed for me and that went wrong and this went wrong and I'm a, such a failure, whatever. No, a winner doesn't think that way. A winner basically looks at his failures as a learning curve. He learns from it, evaluates it, and then takes it to the next level for success. The latch system is nice, the vents are nice, and I can be proud of that, they did a nice job. And it kind of blends into the rest of the house not like something made out of siding, which drove me absolutely back crazy. But this, that's what I wanted, okay? And he doesn't spend his time thinking about if, buts, and fucking maybes. It doesn't happen. And winners go home and fuck the prom queen. And guess what? I fucked many prom queens. So I think to me, that is the mentality that I take forward. We paid two hundred eighty-five thousand. We put fifty thousand dollars into it, and we sold it for three hundred eighty-five thousand. And there was a, a nice profit of thirty-one thousand dollars right there.
Bro, I should have bought a better house.